Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Erin. This is Pathfinders. Where I am a holistic life coach and my intention for this channel is to assist you in finding and navigating your highest life path. So I was thinking about um, I thought I'm going to do a full moon reading for tonight's full moon in Capricorn. I am using the sidereal uh, astrological chart this evening. Um, and according to it, this is a full moon in Capricorn, not Aquarius. But um, sidereal astrology is the original form which goes by the actual size of the constellations so and what came up was actually um, perfect because we have a the ace of pentacles was the first to come out and to me um, this is capricorn this is the pentacles the earth sign of capricorn and and this to me looks like a full moon doesn't it and so this is uh the full moon is the culmination uh the completion and a new beginning so how perfect is that the, the ace is the new beginning and i believe that coming through this last Cancer Capricorn uh, eclipse axis has been has not been easy for any of us. It's been very difficult um, on the world stage and personally. So um, I also had I'm going to go ahead and show you these cards that came out uh, for this full moon reading tonight, um, and we'll take a look and see what this full moon represents for all of us. So we have here, like I said, the Ace of Pentacles, which is the sign of Capricorn. And just um, opposite it is, I thought was interesting, is the Star Mother card. So we have Mother, which is kind of the symbol for cancer it's a motherly type energy and the pentacles capricorn is is the father energy so we had these this eclipse season that we just came through in cancer and capricorn so this is the star mother and it's says how can you mother yourself and i don't know about y'all but um i had to really um, consider and reconsider and that reminds me of the mercury retrograde going back into cancer this last um, what, month or so and re-evaluate how I was taking care of myself how I was mothering myself um, I have, I'm a mother of five actually, and I really was overworking myself here like, like a Capricorn. Um, my moon is in Capricorn actually. So, and that's the, the feminine, the moon is the, the feminine, but I was really overdoing it as a mother. Like I was not taking good care of myself. I was, I was like the workaholic mother, like not giving myself a break, not mothering myself, taking care of everyone else but me and my health, my mental health was really, really suffering. And I had to really go back and and take a look at how I was mothering myself and I, or wasn't. And I really um, needed to get a balance back um, where I was really practicing better self-care. So this makes perfect sense to me for that, that the North node being in cancer and the South node was in Capricorn. I really had to let go of my children quite a bit. I let, I put them in school. I stopped homeschooling to give myself a break 
And um, I had to let go of a lot of control, which is Capricorn, you know, wanting to control everything. And I had to let go and um, really let God take care of my children, you know, and, and then get back to taking care of me, of mothering myself. So, um, I think that's a part of this past eclipse cycle coming to culmination. And, um, there were a lot of things really that I had to cut out and become, you know, take the sword and cut out all the toxicity, uh, which can happen if your Capricorn energy is you know, in its shadow, you know, in too much Capricorn energy is, is overworking. It's, it's workaholism, it's toxicity, it's addiction. It can be, um, so many of us may have been having to cut out some toxic habits, toxic, um, maybe relationships, um, and just really focus more on that North Node and Cancer of taking care of ourselves, you know? And with the hangman in reverse, you see there's a actually a full moon right behind him. And um, how appropriate, right? So the wait is over. I believe we have with this full moon, we have a culmination, a completion. And um, again, like just as an example, for me, um, with this North Node in Cancer, the mother, the caregiver, the nurturer, the homemaker, um, I'm actually releasing myself a bit from this role and focusing more on my career um, work. So, you know, now that I've let, I said, let go of my children a bit, um, let go. Of, I'm, I'm actually experiencing a kind of a role reversal where I'm stepping away a little bit from mothering to focusing on my career. So, and I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've been a mom for, you know, 18 years now with five children and I've waited a long time to kind of be able to focus more on my career and I feel like um, the wait is over for me and it might you might be experiencing that as well where um, you might be focusing um, I don't know maybe a career transformation is happening for many of you too some of you um, that might resonate with, or there's been a culmination in your career, a completion in your career, or actually with the, the full moon being a completion and then a new start here, or maybe you're starting a brand new career, or um, maybe you're starting a new job and you've been waiting on this for a while now. And the wait is over. This cycle, I believe this was, um, this eclipse cycle is over, right? The Cancer North Node, South Node Capricorn is coming to completion. And the this wait is over at the full moon. And I feel like we all, like I said, had to do a lot, had to cut out a lot. And, um maybe a, a lot of toxicity. This card here is about cutting cords. So we had, it's, it says, it's the protection card. It's like, it's call back your power, cut the cords and retrieve your soul. And that's right above the three of swords in reverse. I feel like, again, for myself, um, I had to do this and many of you probably did as well, um, had to cut out the, the pain from the past, had to cut out, uh, toxic 
relationships, painful uh, relationships, and take back your power, protect yourself. Again, you see the a moon here, the full moon. It almost it's, it looks like an eclipse, and we just had that eclipse, right in Capricorn. And I know I had to cut out a lot of drama, people who were creating drama in my life, um, heartache, people that were uh, creating heartache in my life. And um, I really had to cut out and pull out these swords um, and call back my power, call back my soul and, and cut out uh, the toxicity. And I believe that we really, um, the magician here, I myself made an intention to transmute this energy, this three of swords energy and be the alchemist and turn that pain right into gold and transmute all this energy, bring it to a completion. And it's, I believe it's over. I believe by cutting, you know, cutting out the, a lot of this toxic energy from my past, um, really helped me to alchemize it and turn it into gold and I believe many of us have had to do that um, yeah and I think this is the culmination of that and I think we're completing that karmic cycle and we are because of that work we've done as the magician this we are ascending I love this card. Look at it's the pillar of light and you are ascending because of this, this last, you know, freeing ourselves from this last karmic cycle, cutting out, pulling out those swords and, and clearing all of that negative energy of the past. We are ascending. We are raising our vibrations and we're coming up and out better than ever. So that is my full moon reading for this evening. It's such a great time. If you haven't done this yet, tonight is a wonderful time to, um, you know, write down uh, on a sheet of paper all the things that you are ready to let go of. The pain from the past, um, any emotional uh, trauma, any um, these this sword energy of this um, hurt um, that you've experienced. And write it all down on a sheet of paper and maybe have a campfire or or maybe light it and, and burn it and just release release um, and know that we're about to get a new beginning so God bless you enjoy this beautiful full moon and thanks for listening thank you for subscribing if you liked this video um, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more to come your way. Thanks again. God bless.